it's Valentine's Day, and if you plan to head to the movies with your boo, there are some several new movies that you can check out on the big screen. There are even some if you plan to stay inside and stream. Here's director Sean Hobbs with Friday's edition of Director's Chair. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie is here for Valentine's Day. How romantic. The classic video game character, a super fast alien on a family friendly adventure, making friends with human James Marsden, chased by evil mad scientist Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey. Really fun here going zany old school Jim Carrey. Hey, disposable stuff, yeah, but a little better than expected because it does have some heart and is actually pretty likable and fast and kind of fun. Two and a half stars, okay. It felt like we were gonna die. And I look over at Pete, and he was gone. Pete left us. Also new is Downhill, comedy giants, Will Ferrell and Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's especially great here. As a couple on one very awkward ski trip in the Alps because during an almost avalanche, he panics and runs and, oops, abandons his family. How romantic. Remake of the Swedish film Force Majeure. It is a light cringe comedy, all witty and squirmy. Uh, more middling midlife dramedy, actually. Decent, just don't expect big laughs because you're not going to get them. Two and a half stars. I'm Mr. Rurik. Let me officially welcome you to Fantasy Island. Then De Plane, De Plane. There's Fantasy Island, based on the old hit TV series about a tropical resort where guests' secret fantasies are made reality. Only now it's been turned into a horror movie. How romantic. Lucy Hale and Michael Pena star, it was not previewed in advance. I'm terrible at first date. What? I'm wondering if it's not too early in the night to kiss you. Oh, hey, finally some romance. In the photograph, Issa Rae and Lakeith Stanfield star in that falling in love while investigating the past loves of her late mother, a famed photographer. A smooth jazz romance coupled with even stronger flashbacks to family drama. It's nice, also a little flat and sleepy, but nice. Two and a half stars, nearly three. Okay, romantic odds and ends. Do you think we should meet? Belton's Beltonian spending Valentine's with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, and you've got mail. Uh, I think I tend to think about things the exact right amount. Thank you. At home, Hulu has the High Fidelity series based on the movie. Zoe Kravitz running a record shop revisiting past loves. I thought having a boyfriend meant the idea of other boys left your mind completely. While Netflix has the sequel to one of their biggest teen rom-coms to all the boys, P.S. I still love you. Also, a new dating show called Love is Blind. Would you get engaged without seeing your fiance? Yikes. Then outside of romance, Netflix also has a new season of Narcos Mexico. They have a new Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. Is Shaun befriending a cute alien visitor in that one? And only on demand, a cool sounding movie called VFW. We set a perimeter. We make our stand. It violently pits grizzled war vets versus crazed junkies. Cool old dudes in that one, like Stephen Lang, Bill Sadler, and Fred the Hammer. Williamson. Let's go. That's the latest from the director's chair.